Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Destiny Speaks. Well, we made it, y'all. It's Friday, and I don't know about you, but I'm so glad that it's Friday. Even though I do have a busy weekend coming up, you know, I can, uh, this, this is the end of the work week for me. And I don't know about you guys, but by the time I get to Friday, I'm usually so drained and depleted. You know, I've been running around all week, and I, I don't know what your commitments are. You know, a lot of us have families. We have kids. There's soccer games. There's chilling practice. You know, you work all week, you cook dinner, you take care of your family, you make commitments to friends, and you're just worn out by the end of the week, you know, and so many times, you know, we have commitments that we have to keep, you know, there are commitments that we can't break, you know, if you're a leader, um, whether you're a pastor or, um, you know, what have you, a supervisor or a parent, there are certain commitments that you just cannot break. And a lot of times you just wonder, how am I going to make it? I just don't have the strength to go. Well, there was an instance in the Bible where Moses had made a commitment um, to Joshua and the Israelites. They were going into war with the Amaleks and Moses told them, well, when you guys go into war, I'm going to stand at the top of this mountain and I'm going to hold up the staff of God. And um, so they went out to battle and Moses stood on the top of the mountain and he hold, held up the staff of God. And as long as he was holding up that staff, um, the Israelites were winning. But as you know it, you know, um, a lot of times you just get tired when you're doing your day-to-day -day stuff. Well, Moses has got his arms raised up in the air, and he's holding this staff, and his arms are starting to get tired. So he started to let his arms down, and every time he let his arms down, the Israelites were losing. So he put his arms back up, and they were uh, winning. But he knew he was not going to be able to continue that way because, you know, things can get so tough sometimes that we don't know if we can hardly make it. So Moses needed some help just like we do. Moses needed help. So Aaron and her found two stones, two rocks, and they placed them under uh, Moses' arms. So that, And then they stood next to him so that he could keep his hands up and they were able to win the battle. Well, that's what Jesus Christ is for us. God tells us in the Bible that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So even though we're tired, you know, we've worked all week, we've, we've handled our commitments, we're still tired and sometimes we don't know if we can make another step. But the Bible tells us that Jesus is our rock. You know, he said, upon this rock, I will build my church. And that rock is Jesus Christ. Said that Jesus was the chief cornerstone. So what, what that means to you is that when you get tired of holding your hands up, and when I say holding your hands up in this instance, I mean taking care of your commitments, holding on to your commitments. Because as a man and woman of God, we are men and women of our word. And we make a commitment and we want to keep it, you know, no matter how tired we are. So that's what Jesus is for us. He gets underneath our our arms and he holds us up and he allows us to to keep our commitments and not only does he come and, and and he's our foundation and keeps us steady he will send people into your lives that will also stand beside you like Aaron and her did for Moses and make sure that your hands stay up on those rocks so you know just thank God for those friends and those people those pastors and bishops that he's placed in your lives that will encourage you and that will uh, stand with you um, even though you're tired they will stand there and they will help hold you up so that you can do what you have to do. But anyway, you guys, I just wanted to stop and just share a little bit with you today. It's been an awesome week. We've had some good topics this week. You know, we started out the week talking about um, Jesus Christ and, and the Lord being our CEO and undercover boss. So we know that we work as to God and not into man, you know, so it doesn't matter who sees what we do. We know that God knows all and he sees all. We talked about what God has for me. It is for me. So we know we don't have to be jealous about what our sister or brother has because God has a plan and a purpose purpose for our life. We talked about um, worship. You know, we know that when life has us backed into a corner, what do we do? We come out with our hands up and we surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ. And now we're talking about how to continue and keep your commitments even when you feel like you can't take another step. We just lean on Jesus. He is our rock. Okay, so I have really enjoyed spending time with you this week. I thank you so much for all your wonderful comments and um, the, the messages that I've received from people that I know and people that I don't know. 
know. You know, it's wonderful when people that you know, when people that you don't know celebrate you, but when somebody who knows you and know who you were before you got saved and they can receive from you, um, that's a wonderful thing, you see. But that's what God does. He just so changes you. When you bring your life and you put your life in Christ's hands, He will so change you that you don't even recognize yourself. And that's exactly where I am right now. So you guys, I don't know if I'll be here tomorrow. I may do one tomorrow, but I'll definitely be here on Sunday. But please pray for me and pray that God will continue to speak to me that, so that I can continue to speak for you. Have an awesome weekend. And remember, destiny speaks. So what are you saying? I love you guys and I'll see you next time.